The Premier League is back, and so is primetime football on Chagua Sports. I'm here with my co-host, uh, Kevin Chirobonga. He thinks he knows a lot about I football. I do. I don't I think do. you do. I do and I'm Sam Oko. Um, so let's start off. Premier League is back. Uh, week one, any, any surprises on the table? Of course, the biggest surprise in my opinion. Chelsea versus Swansea. 2-2 two -two game. My boy Jefferson Montero repping his old team from Ecuador. If anyone cares, this is uh, Emelec. Best team in Guayaquil. Best team in Ecuador. Back-to-back -back champs. Anyways, Montero, unstoppable. You know that. He's a Chelsea fan. It hurt to see him <laughs> go off on Ivanovic like that. Come on. No, you're right. You're right. I thought Iv Ivanovic looked like a 40-year-old chasing a 16-year-old <laughs> around the... It, it just looked bad. It, it reminded me of um, Debbie Beckham's last game. That's when the he honest won. he's ever been in his entire life. Like, he's actually <laughs> no. winning. <laughs> no, I'm he saying. It, it reminded me. Remember, like, Debbie Beckham said... Um, he knew it was time to retire when he played. Up, he was up against Messi and he couldn't catch Messi and was like, oh, it's, a, it's time to retire. So it's kind of like that. I was just like, wait, we might need a new uh, right back now. How good do you think Swansea can be this year? Uh, Swansea's always been a good team. I mean, uh, they play. I, I, I've always loved the fact that they play really good attacking 4-3-3 football. Um, this year with Montero and and the, the, and uh, uh, Weyu, um they might be a top Gomes, 10 team. Gomes, Gomes as well, yeah. Gomes. Um, Gomez is playing for a spot on the French team. I did hear about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, they got Newcastle next week. I think they can win it. Yeah, they definitely can't win it. I mean, Newcastle has been a bit washy over the last couple of, uh, couple of years. Especially ever since uh, Pardew left for uh, Crystal Palace. This is the prediction right now. I'm calling it top six finish for Swansea. Well, that's I out like there. Shelby. That's out I like there. Shelby in the midfield holding <clears throat> it down. Dude's got strength. Dude's got nice vision. Mm -hmm. I like their team. I like. I don't know. I just, I just like their team. I like the way they played, but... I think it's just going to be about consistency. Mm. How good can Montero be this year? A you also. It's going to be an interesting year, definitely. How about Man U? How would you think about Man U? Uh, I'm surprised they won. I don't know what Tottenham was doing. I mean, they started, Tottenham started off the game really well. Played really good attack in football. They lost themselves halfway into it. And I think that's because of the uh, Kyle Walker on goal. If that didn't happen, I think we'd be talking about a different game. I think we would be. I think Tottenham would have won, honestly. They, they were definitely like more in control throughout the whole game. I just don't like Man U's lineup. I don't agree with it. Mm -hmm. I'm Ecuadorian. I'm a little biased. I want to see Antonio Valencia starting the match. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see, you know, whatever Skulls his name is or Walker. I don't know what the fuck his name is. Ander. <laughs> Depay. <laughs> Ander. Even Depay. And Depay. Look, I think Valencia is underrated. I don't like Van Gaal's style, but you know what I mean? He's a coach right now. You got to go with it. They won, but I know a lot of people weren't happy with the way they played. What about the whole, um, what's his, um, I mean, they have a goalkeeper uh, controversy as well. Yeah, with De Gea also. They, he might be leaving. He might be leaving. I mean, Romero's good though. Romero's starting national team for Argentina. He's, mm -hmm. I think he's a really good goalkeeper. So, I mean, I mean De Gea's probably better, but it's not that much of a difference, honestly. <coughs> but uh, what do you think about Tottenham? Tottenham, I mean, they play well. They put pressure. I think that's something that Man U, since last season, can't handle. When they're pressured from the back of the <laughs> field, they can't seem to, like, Make make plays. It's like it's like they're. I to be honest, I thing. think Tottenham with Harry Kane could be. They 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 could be unstoppable this season with Harry Kane. I feel like he's the main player. If if you can take Harry Kane out the out the game, I don't know how many goals Tottenham can manufacture. Mm -hmm. That's the situation. Um, watching the game, I think Tottenham are maybe finishing in the top four, but okay. it's too early to tell. It's only week one, so I don't want to I don't want to uh, pigeonhole myself and saying that they don't have Lennon no over, right? No, he's not there. I don't think. Um, I really haven't caught up with him. I don't know what happened to him. He hasn't been the same, has he? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. but. Um, some of the games that took place was uh, Manchester City against West Brom. 3 0 easy. Terry's a savage. You said, nah, that second goal was just like, uh, he was an assassin from midfield. I, I didn't expect that from him. I mean, he's been uh, Manchester City's. Um, He's been he's been like Manchester City's key player in, in midfield yeah, for, for yeah, years now. Yeah, he's still had a nice game also. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's always consistent. He's always doing his thing out there, but. Thierry was, was a monster. Yes, he was. But we'll, again, they were playing against Wasborn, so they could have played their B team and probably won. That's true. Very true. But uh, Aguero was even on the bench. So, I mean, I guess that tells you how they felt about the game in general. But it was, a, it was uh, what do you, all right, the biggest surprise also West Ham beating Arsenal. But some, you know, I'm, without I'm, any, <clears throat> without my boy, Ener Valencia, the boy that was going to join Chelsea. He was going to be Chelsea's savior. No, the, 
Rumors, rumors. We don't. Yeah, we we didn't really need him. We did. What, where, where would he play? He wouldn't. He, we, we have Diego Costa. We don't need him. Um, but all I can say about the Arsenal result is checkmate. Simple as that. I don't know what Czech was doing. Uh, I feel like come week ten is when we'll see the real the resurgence of Peter Czech because I feel like uh, he's so accustomed to playing the Chelsea way of uh, uh, having a, a strong front, uh, back line and Arsenal. I don't know what they do. I think Arsenal's zonal marking is not really working. And, and and you can see there's a lot of discrepancy in regards to where Czech expects their players the players to be and what they're used to playing. So, uh, but going forward, West Ham um, has heart. West Ham has heart. Mm. I like I like their team also, but they gotta they gotta score more. And this is a great start for them. Um, let's see what they do without Inter Valencia. Apparently they're after Chicharito also, but mm. we gotta see what happens with that. But it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a really good year, honestly. I'm trying to think what what other games have happened this weekend that were, that were vitally important. I mean, Liverpool had a had a really disappointing game. If it wasn't for that Coutinho strike, I don't think anybody would be talking about it. Boring game. Uh, but that was such a strike from what th- thirty five yards out. Probably thirty five. Yeah. Coutinho's a Coutinho's a beast. Coming up next is the verdict. A new segment here on Primetime Football. Welcome to the verdict, where we try to predict the EPL's top matches of the week. At the end of the season, the loser has to do a challenge dictated by his peers. Hopefully it's not me. It will be you, Sam. It will be you. I just pray to God. I'm good. Right. Um, so let's, let's look into this. Let's start off on Friday. I think Aston Villa is playing Manchester United. Who do you think is winning that one? Man U. Man U, I think, is going to bounce back. Mm-hmm. First game, they didn't play so well. But I think, I think Van Gaal is going to make some changes. I hope in the starting lineup, I already heard that he's thinking of starting Ander Herrera, giving him more minutes. I yeah. think he's big. He's he's a creator, just like Mata, and that's what they need. I feel like I should go for a draw, but you don't get points for, for going for a draw. Um, so I'm going to have to side with Manchester United, even though I hate them. Um, mm-hmm. So what, what else has happened? Newcastle is playing uh, Swansea City. Swansea. I think Swansea's, like I said, top six finish. I give it to Swansea. I think another big game by Montero and Gomez. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, getting, I'm taking Swansea. Um, shit. We might have similar like picks this this time around. Um, what about Tottenham versus Stoke? Wait, so who are you taking? I'm Swansea? taking Swansea. I'd, 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 I'd like to go with Newcastle, but I don't think they're the same. This guy loves following my flow. No, right? because it, uh, you're picking the right teams. Whatever. It's only week one. Wait, wait until um, Manchester United just plays Chelsea. Whatever. Um, Tottenham versus Stoke. Tottenham versus Stoke. Tottenham's at home, right? Yeah. It's home fixture. I think I'll take Tottenham also. <sighs> I think I see Tottenham <laughs> playing well. They, they they did play well against Manchester United. Yeah. They were just unlucky. So, I mean, I think they're going to continue this. I think they have something to prove this year. And mm-hmm. uh, I could see them definitely uh, getting a victory against Stoke. I'm going to have to go with the Spurs as well. I think Harry Kane and, and Eriksen might, might be deciding factors in the, in the, in the matchup. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, and then Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. I might have to say a draw there with Crystal Palace. Because you get no points for for a draw though. You do. If I if I if the draw comes through, then you get a point. Oh yeah, true. You're right. You're right. I forgot about that. I predicted well, it right. I cool. The draw. Totally predicted. So we're for a draw. I think Crystal Palace mm-hmm. is gonna continue Arsenal's bad streak. I don't really know who Crystal pa- Palace has, but I mean I don't know. I just don't well, like Wilfred, Arsenal Wilfred, at all. Wilfred Zaha is is a winner. Zaha. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> don't Crystal play. Palace. Crystal Palace draw against um, Arsenal. Last see, week. I, I'm completely different on this one because I feel like uh, Arsenal has been made fun of this whole week. Arsenal fans have been have been the butt of all jokes. They're not playing them. But but anyway, um, well, my point is simply this: I think that uh, Arsenal's gonna bounce back and Arsenal's gonna win it. Okay. So it's gonna be like a two 0 if I can go that far. First, first disagreement. Last but not least, we have Chelsea versus Manchester United, the biggest game of the week. Biggest game of the fetch, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, who you got? Uh, obviously, I gotta go with uh, Chelsea. Uh, obviously. Due to the fact that they lost, they drew with Swansea City. I don't think Mourinho is the type to want to lose two games. Um, and and yeah, I don't. I, 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 there's not, not much City, to it. You got Chelsea. I you got Man City. It. I think Man City played well. Against, I know it was West Bromwich, but I mm-hmm. think I think that they could definitely uh, pull another win. I got Man City three one actually. I don't think Chelsea started off correctly. I think they have a lot of things to figure out. Yeah. I don't like the defense. I don't. And we don't like you don't you don't like the team altogether. So I don't like the team altogether, but I mean they're a good team. They're gonna have a top three, top four finish, but I think they're gonna start off a little slow. Mm-hmm. 
I'm going for uh, Man City. I mean, the, the biggest pro- situation for me is like how uh, Kotoa's red card still stands right now. Exactly. Um, so they have Begovic in goal, uh, fairly Big new. Uh, he's a good goalkeeper, but he's still fairly new. Um, we looked sluggish for our fitness levels. I hope Jose Mourinho has been putting them through the paces during the week because... I think Chelsea's best player is obviously Eden Hazard right now, the way he's playing. But besides that, mm. I mean, I really didn't... No one stood out for me at Chelsea. I mean, if you even see the goals they scored against Swansea, like the first, they were a bit lucky. The second goal was the own goal. I mean, yeah. it deflected off off of the Swansea's uh, defenders, Philip Fernandez. <laughs> and I mean, I don't honestly think that that Chelsea needs a lot of things to correct. I mean, I don't like the fact that Dio uh, Dio Costa is playing the whole match. He, like you said, he's still hurt, right? So, he's in he's a bit injured. Yeah. So I want to see uh, who's their reserve. Uh, they have Luke Remy and Falcao. Falcao, exactly. Oh. I want to see Falcao out there way more. You can't put Falcao in 10 minutes and expect him to do something. He's not. He needs more time out there. But, I'm not the coach, but I got Man City. 3-1. I have Chelsea uh, winning 1-0. Uh, probably 2-0 to be, to be fairly close to it. And then um, probably Mourinho is going to look to park the bus. Well, that's it on Primetime Football on Chagua Sports. Catch us next week. I've been your host, Sam Otko. And I'm Kevin Chiriboga. Thanks for having me, Sam. Pleasure. Peace. Peace.